Hey everyone, welcome back, and this is my review of Gundam Build Fighters Try, Episode 5. Pretty good episode. Uh, one of the things that stood out in this episode for me, yeah, I'm going diving right into it. This uh, one thing that stood out for this episode, in this episode for me, um, is actually apparent is actually the end of the episode where we got Tatsuya, uh, basically uh, teased like he's gonna appear in the series again. Now Tatsuya was one of the probably the most badass character in season one, <sighs> aside from Reiji because he was just fucking awesome. But either so the second most badass character in season one. And he, I think this is the second time he's been teased. He better fucking make an appearance now eventually. And since he's teased, they had better show both Say and Reiji eventually. Okay, whether it's just as like fan service or they're they're here to t or I mean like just guest appearances or they're here to basically try to train the new main characters. Or if they, or or if they actually do t play major roles, like maybe in the final tournament of the series, our main characters will actually have to face them. That would be pretty fucking awesome to actually see. Okay, but either way, they better make an appearance now because if Tatsuya is going to make an appearance, as awesome as he is, the main characters better make an appearance. Plus, we also got China uh, hinted, t uh, got a brief scene with China uh, a few episodes ago. It was a really brief flashback scene of. Uh, of a Yuma's, but still, we did get we did get a brief scene with her. So yeah, we better see the main characters again later on in the series, and or the old main characters, anyways. Anyways, though, aside from that, uh, also one thing that I kind of thought felt was kind of funny is that when Hoshino said that she when she was a kid there was this female gunpla bat fighter that she, or battler that she actually looked up to. Before they showed her face, I actually thought it was going to turn out to be China. Okay, and the way and my reasoning for this is because I've seen this a lot in shows where, in anime, where one of the main characters looks up, looked up to someone as a, a kid. Okay, and then it when, when you find out who it is, it turns out to be one of the previous main characters. But no, they actually went a different route this time. It's a completely different chick who we have not we know who we know nothing about yet. Uh, she made two brief appearances, one in Hoshino's flashback, and two at the very end of the episode watching the fight, okay? And she appeared to be with Tatsuya, I think, which is kind of a weird thing. It's like, it, who is she? she, like, Tatsuya's sister, maybe, or maybe his partner, or instructor, maybe, or maybe he's her instructor, or maybe the, or, or maybe they're, or maybe she's his significant other, okay, but... Either way, either way, I thought actually thought that was really cool. And also, we in this episode we got to see this like water school do the gunplay battle during the match in this episode. And what I mean by that is like that school we saw like last episode or the episode before or something like that, in which all they use is underwater gunpla. That's literally all they use, and they ace their fucking match, and because in, in this match because they were. It was an underwater stage, but Yuma brought up a really good point. You know, what if it was a space stage? What if it was like a uh, desert stage? Okay, or a stage somewhere in the mountains, or in a forest or jungle, or a grassy field. Like, I'm pretty sure they'd get their asses kicked if all they use is underwater gunpla, and yet they were for forced to fight in a stage like that. Okay, which is clear that they've got, don't have something that, or that. That is, Sekai is trying to get something that they don't have, which is variety in the in how he's able to battle. Okay, because it's obvious that's what he's trying to do, and they obviously don't have that. So I th really think that in terms of this battle, they just got lucky and got the right field chosen for them. Okay, if it was the wrong field, I'm pretty sure they would have been fucked. <laughs> All right. Uh, other than that, we also got a little bit more romance in this development in this episode, or at least hinting towards romance development. The series isn't the strongest... Romance isn't the series' strongest suit, never really has been. Um, the first season just kind of teased it in terms of with uh, China and Say. I'm not sure if they actually went towards that later on in their lives. I mean, it has been seven years, remember. But... Uh, 
yeah, I'm not sure if it's actually going to go anywhere huge in this season with between a Hoshino and Sekai. Okay, okay, but it's but, but it is kind of interesting. I kind of do hope that it does. I mean, even Sekai's sister, who originally wasn't all for them being the other one, is seems like with her facial expressions and her blushing and whatnot, she seems like she's kind of warming up to the idea. You know, because she's getting to know she or uh, Hoshino, or she, she's secretly getting to know Hoshino a lot better. And I think she's kind of okay with Hoshino at this point, even kind of beginning to like her a bit because she can tell how much Sekai is having a blast with Hoshino. Okay, how much the two of them are, l love hanging out with each other and playing Gumpla Battle with each other and whatnot. Okay. Also, I have a theory on Hoshino. What if Hoshino actually used to be a Gumpla Battler? Like, it'd be kind of interesting if they went that route, but for some reason, maybe she has a dark past where she quit Gunpla Battle or something. I don't, I don't know, it's just some random thing I thought of before recording this review that I thought I'd mention. It's like, you know, it's a possibility, I guess. I mean, it'd be kind of interesting if they did go that route. Maybe she's just pretending to not know anything about Gunpla Battle, you know? But, yeah. And one more thing that I want to mention in this review before I end it is... Uh, that Minato guy, basically he was the uh, guy who basically showed Sekai up in the last episode in front of all those kids. Yeah, him. Apparently he was an old rival of Yuma Kosaka, which is very interesting and it makes me wonder if we're going to get to see them battle in the future. And also I assume that he's probably going to end up being a, a rival to Sekai too. Just simply because of the way they interacted in the last episode, I just have that feeling. Okay, also, another thing that makes me think that Sei, Yori, and uh, Reiji are going to reappear in the series again is because Minato notices that the the uh, burning strike, whatever, that Sei, that, or that, uh, that uh, Sekai is using is apparently one that Sei, Yori himself used sometime, at some point in the past. Now, I don't remember that at all from the original series, so it must have been like sometime within the seven year time skip I'm guessing because I don't remember it at all but apparently he did use it and so if Sekai's using his fucking Gundam that again makes me re really hope that they like they better put uh, Se that, like they better have Sei and Reiji in in this uh, series again later on okay alright like there's so many flags here telling me that it will happen so it better fucking happen okay Anyways, overall, I thought this episode of Gundam Build Fighters Try was really good. I especially, like all whites, I especially love the action. The action was intense. The animation was fucking amazing during the action scenes. And they also had lots of foreshadowing in this episode of things to come, like that one chick that Hoshino looked up to, Tatsuya Yuki, possibly Sayori and Reiji turning up again in the future. Uh, you know, possible rivalries brew brewing, possible romances brewing, or, well, one romance, anyways. Um, a, a, actually, a possible love triangle brewing. If you watch the episode, then you know exactly what I mean by that. So, overall, I thought it was a very good episode. I really enjoyed it. I can, if you have yet to see this week's episode of Gundam Build Fighters Try, then I definitely recommend that you do. I can't wait till next week's episode. I thought this episode was really good, very enjoyable. So anyways, overall, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.